Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today is Light Language number two in one day. Usually this does not happen, but I am feeling it amping up again. Energy soaring, getting crazier. For a simple term, imagine it to picture. Electricity, lightning, actually balloon lightning, uh, since I don't, balloon lightning is my favorite, so yes, meaning the, the aura is getting more energetic from what is happening around the earth, uh, being the new moon in Taurus, uh, other astrology things happening but also a connection to more on the star seed type uh, connection to really know the origin Treasure to understand. Hmm. Well, it is my higher wisdom. I can't really understand what I do, but higher wisdom, higher self. Five D. It's it, five D to four D, baby. I'm I'm getting closer to five D. So. Um. Koloko makala aso sono isala okolo ikala sono sesala ikala kokoma kala akala isala sosono sini sakala kokoma ikala okolo isala avunleo ivala makala okola asono sesini sokolo kela kala kolo kelana Isala sukuma ikile ikulu Isala sunu sikile ukuma Ikala valukulu ikile sulukulu kalukulu Dili daluku makala ikulu Ikala kukuma disala sukulu ikala kumakala Dili dukulu vile osuku Why all those random same sounds? No idea. And but as a light worker, you do so multiple of gifts to the world. Not just knowledge; uh, it could be a deep advice deep readings, uh, reading people, energy, energy, healing, reiki, masters, etc. For me, it is just my words and my healer power. And my light language, obviously, don't know how, but yes, I do believe my energy is a healer and the output. What else can I say but that? Trust your intuition, trust the vibrations you are feeling, never doubt. Continue your climb to 5D. You are in hell, raise your bravery and higher. That is your mission. To continue to rise higher and higher and higher. 5D and beyond. Most will not remember that. That is why I am here telling you, showing this, hoping that you can resonate with it. Light bulb goes off, you remember and you work with it, not against it.
The old gods are here guiding you. The old gods have been among you. You just don't. Well, by among, I mean three people. Like myself, obviously, because I easily connect to the Egyptian pantheon and one deity in the Sumerian pantheon. However, that is to be shifted now, knowing what I know now, the actual truth. Going back to the original story, everything makes more sense now. The old gods are here to serve you. You walk among them. If you can see them, for whatever that may be, as in guardian angels, prophets, uh, again, serving the broader, well, serving humanity in a broad range. And I am losing my train of thought. Uh, just guiding humanity as a whole. Open that the ones who resonate with them will awake. Become aware. To become aware of their godhood. Their godhead. The Kundalini energy. Etc. Whatever you call it. Return to Godhood. That is your mission. Remember. You are divine beings. You are all powerful, all magical, all divine. Do not let the evil ones take that power away from you. Remember who you are. Remember what you are. Ascend. That is the goal. You are in hell. Wake up. Ascend your vibration. Many will fall because they can't see it. They'll too focus on drama, drama, drama. Cut out the bad people and you will start to see everything for what it is. Become aware of everything. What do you feed yourself? It's not just food. It is what you read, what you watch, and of course conversations with people. Even music can and does affect you. You have to learn to become in tune with your body. The soul somehow separated itself from your body and now you're like, I'm confused, why am I sick? You're not in tune with your frequency. You're not in tune with your soul. You have to remember and become more in tune to it. And then you can heal others. Again, we all serve for other people, not for ourselves serve other people. We heal ourselves as we heal others. Collective human, if you will. Collective consciousness. I thank you for your time and until we meet again, my friends.